what is going on everybody welcome back to another lovely wednesday um i just want to say first and foremost thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given me it is so moving and so motivating so it's just i just can't stop uh today we're going to talk about the top five reasons why i love my 2018 civic si so starting off at number one here i'd have to give it to these bucket seats um, coming from Honda, I have to say, they're very interesting and you definitely don't see seats like this, especially for the previous gen SIs, I feel like. Um, I like how it's kind of like all one piece rather than like a piece here and then you have your uh, headrest. So I do like the fact that they are very sport-like, especially for the new SIs. Um, it really kind of adds that character in the car and they're very comfortable. I mean, it, it gives it that pop, especially with the stitching SI here. That's what I'm a big fan of. And let me let me go ahead and jump jump right out of it. But as you guys can see, I mean, gosh, look how beautiful that is. That is, it's it's perfect. And especially when you see it from the front windshield when you're walking by the car, I feel like it is definitely an eye catcher. Starting off at number two here, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it to the shifter. Um, kind of going with the whole interior aspect here. But I feel like Honda did a great job with the leather wrap stitching here and um, just kind of giving it a comfortable feel. I mean, especially when I'm driving, it definitely gives you that feel. You feel confident, you feel solid while shifting into gears. And I really see no complaint in this whatsoever. I have seen on forums though that people say that either this gets too hot during summer or too cold during winter. I have yet to experience that myself, maybe due to my window tint, but I feel like just for comfortability rate, while you're driving, I feel like this is perfect and it just feels firm in the hands. Now for the third thing, I would have to go ahead and give it to the tachometer here. Um, that right there is pretty much my favorite of how it starts up. But not only from that, but the accessibility you have from it. So you get to see your boost gauge, your gas and brake pe pressure. Not only that, but you know, you get the sick looking RPMs that you just get to see from those nice shift lights and just kind of throwing in there you know g-forces you just have so many options I don't want to go through so much here um, but you got quite a bit of options there's something that I did want to point out that I found out the other day if not a lot of people know about this but if you go to the infotainment system here you actually go home uh, that's my background <laughs> and you go to your settings now this is for some people who do not know this. If you have an SI, you do, you can do this. I don't know if it works for like EXs or EXTs, uh, probably for EXTs, but you can do this. If you go to system and you go to tachometer settings, you can actually turn off your tachometer. When you click off, let me show you what happens. So when you click off, this is what occurs. It gets rid of your RPM and it kind of turns it into the shift lights. And then, I don't know, for me it looks kind of cool when you have your shift lights and your boost gauge at the same time. It's your guys' opinion. But um, I thought it was a pretty neat, like, kind of hidden secret, if you would say. And then if you would ever want to go back, you just turn it back on. Boom. It's back up. I preferably keep it there just so I can actually see the complete RPMs that I'm running at. But it's all up to you guys. But I think that is pretty cool how your tachometer isn't like the old school. I'm really big into like technology at the same time. So I love how it's like, it's very accessible and you have all kinds of features with it. Now for number four, I have to go ahead and give it to the infotainment system. I'm sorry, I, I've been talking a lot about the interior of the car, but really this infotainment system is pretty interesting. I love how you have plenty of features. It's very responsive. Uh, you can basically treat it like an Android or an iPhone, iPad, you know? And when you connect your phone, let's go ahead and connect that, you got this beautiful thing called Apple CarPlay. And that right there lights up. Now you can go ahead and click Apple CarPlay. It practically mirrors your phone. Right now we're listening to Candy Paint. Um, you know what I mean? But I don't wanna get copyrighted by YouTube. Uh, so I love it because I'm right now on Spotify. I can use my Spotify. I can go ahead and go to any of my playlists, recently played, browse, and it's just so easy to use. Car doesn't come with navigation, but I love how you can just go ahead and use your maps and just figure out from there and then just boom, back out. Uh, on top of that, you have it like a, basically it reflects your phone. So that's the home button. I'm back over here with all my apps that 
you know, apply to Apple CarPlay. And it's just easy to move through. Um, I, it, it's a nice seven inch. You can upgrade this. I've seen online, um, not not from Honda, but there is one called the, uh, I think it's the Phoenix Radio Android or Android Radio. And uh, it's a nine inch display. And it's obviously more Android based, but it still works with your iPhone. Uh, I'm debating on swapping over to that, but even this itself, I mean, that's just me because maybe I just want a bigger screen and, and stuff. But even with this one, it's just, it's crazy. Look at how responsive it is. Click Spotify, boom, done. Go home. Even just your options here. I love how you can decorate your background to whatever you want just by plugging in a USB and taking a picture off of there. Um, I love it. It's very accessible and it's very responsive. Climate, boom, comes up. You can change your climate, easy. And it's just, it's just very all around universal and I feel like it's a nice touch, especially for like road trips. And now for the fifth reason of why I love my Civic Si. Um, this is all opinion based, but honestly, this freaking trunk space. My IS did not have the amount of trunk space that this car has. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you. I can literally just freaking. I can dolphin dive in this thing if I would right now, but I. <laughs> You see what I mean? I, look at this. I'm, who can do that in their trunk? Huh? Who can do that in their trunk? You, you just, look at that. I can fit like freaking three of me in here. And that's with the seats up. You can put the seats down. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, with all jokes aside though, seriously guys, this trunk space is crazy. Um, I've put the seat down before and in total have fit nine people's luggages in there. So for this sedan and it being a sports car and just a fun car overall, it's got plenty of space, especially in the back. So I think that's another reason why I love this car is versus my IS, I never had as much trunk space as this has, where I can just practically, for moving and everything, it's so useful. All right, guys, so I just want to say that although these are the top five reasons, these are not the only reasons why I love my 10th Gen SI. Um, in reality, the real reason I feel like would go as number one would be the performance and handling of this car, um, guaranteed hands down. But I didn't want to throw that in there just to give myself at least that leeway of difference, you know, because there's just so many other things about this car that you just can't have enough time to. And I didn't want to do a top 10 or anything. I want to keep it kind of short, you know, for you guys. But I would have to say number one would definitely be the performance and the handling. I'd have to throw both in the same category because this is definitely something different. This is this is a different type of fun. Definitely. Um, with that being said, I know this video is going to be posted out late. I do want to apologize for that guys, uh, just keep it transparent with you guys in my personal life. It's just been very hectic and busy this entire month and it has been a struggle, but next month we are going to get back on top of it. I know I was supposed to get the K-Tuner this month, so next month, next month K-Tuner, promise, it will happen. On top of that, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next episode. And if you haven't, I mean, shoot, I even say in the beginning of this video, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And if you don't know, I post every single week, every single Wednesday. Yeah, that, yeah, that. All right, game over. Thank you guys for watching.